Kaizo shell tricks are some of the coolest looking things to watch, but to anyone who's new to the game or never spent much time practicing shell tricks, they can be really hard and require some precise timing. Fortunately, there are some shell tricks that are seen in many of the hardest shell levels, but they're actually very easy to do. So I'm going to go over what I think are the three easiest shell tricks, and I'd love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are in the video. So let's begin. The first trick is the absolute easiest shell jump you'll ever do. Cape shell jumps are almost impossible to mess up. All you need to do is while you're holding a shell and holding jump to float slowly, make sure you're the right distance from the wall and let go of the shell. It's important to make sure you don't let go of jump when you kick the shell because you'll start falling quickly and it won't work. And like I said, as long as you're within this distance from the wall, it will work every time. And it can be done at any point in your float down, either way at the top middle or bottom it doesn't matter it's helpful to re-hold run after kicking the shell so that you're able to control your movements better after you do the shell jump the next shell trick is called a back shot we do it when there's a place we need to get to but it's either too far to jump or there's something blocking us from getting there and also there's a floor that would damage us to land on we could try to put this shell on and run across but our cheese attempt is foiled also, in many levels, they'll just give you an enemy with a shell so you couldn't even try to cheese. To do this trick, you throw the shell at the back wall, land on the shell near the middle of the spike floor, and then land on the other side. If you're new to shell tricks or kaizo, this may look tricky, but it's actually very easy. First, you want to get a little momentum and jump with the shell, and quickly press left and throw the shell anywhere between the bottom of this wall and before the top of your jump. You don't want to hold left because you'll end up staying right by the wall where you throw the shell and then you won't be able to land at the right spot. The key part here is that you don't let go of jump after throwing the shell because you want it to bounce off the wall and stay below you. If you let go of jump and run at the same time, you could either accidentally shell jump, which won't help you, or you would fall with the shell and not be able to land on it. Once you throw the shell, keep holding jump, and it's helpful to re-hold run. That way your movements are quicker when you try to land on the shell. Then it's just a matter of waiting for the shell to get near the middle and aim yourself to land on it and hop to the next part. There's a popular shell jumping level by Dr. L that has a long, dramatic version of this, but it's actually very simple because you're doing the exact same thing here where you throw the shell, continue to hold jump, and then you fall downward with the shell and land on it when you get below. The final trick is one of my favorites because it looks so cool, but it's actually one of the easiest shell tricks to do in the game. As you can see, Luigi grabs the shell. Shortly after, he throws it upward. It bounces off the ceiling, then his head, then the left wall, and then flies right under him at the perfect spot to hop off it. In full speed, I'm sure it looks really complicated to an inexperienced Kaizo player, but here's all you have to do. When you grab the shell, make sure you're holding right and up so that you hug the wall then throw the shell upward just a little bit after grabbing it. And just like the previous two tricks, keep holding jump and don't let go. The one difference here is that you don't re-hold run right away after kicking the shell. The reason is because when the shell bounces off the ceiling, if you re-hold run, you'll re-grab the shell and then fall to your death. By not holding run, the shell will bounce off your head, then go left, then under you. You can re-hold run anytime after it bounces off your head, but not before. The key timing here is to throw the shell just a split second after you grab it. It's actually kind of hard to throw it too early, but if you throw it too late, it'll kill you. But if you let go at any other point before that, it'll bounce perfectly right under you. Now, I don't normally advertise my levels in videos, but because the video is meant to demonstrate three easy shell tricks, I made a 10 second speed run that includes all three tricks. The timer isn't tight as long as you don't take too long on the tricks. And that's all for this video. If you have any problems with getting these tricks to work, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see future Mario Maker 2 videos of all kinds, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.